Hi everybody, San Bonani. Welcome to my channel, Kamala Mudan of Legend. And on this channel, Skuluma Mara Elisa TV shows are my celebrities. Can you know my YouTubers? If it's your first time joining me today and you really like my content, do not forget to press the subscribe button, like it, and a notification bell. So, you guys, listen, there is a lady called Kangsi Lomo who apparently or allegedly had posted that her baby daddy, who is supposed to be this rich guy, first time I hear of them too was uh physically abusing her something very serious you guys so obviously people took it seriously that she had posted uh that okay she has uh, come back to retract what she had posted on her stories and she said that she lied not only did she post about lying but she also did a video which is this one i don't know when i played here it doesn't uh play but it just i can only hear the voice i didn't know how to uh, download it right now maybe i'll post it later on even on this video she's talking about the fact that she wasn't telling the truth and apologizing to the baby daddy you know gpv cases are so so difficult uh, you guys because of course like initially when somebody comes out and say listen this is what happened to me you want to uh you know show compassion you want to hear the person out and all of that, you know, we feel sorry for the person because this is not something that should happen to anybody. Uh, but then when they come back and they say, you know, they've lied. Now you are at a place where you're like, oh, okay, so you lied. Did you lie or are you lying now but lying? Okay, because this is what is happening with this. That people are saying maybe she was be she's being threatened now that she is saying that she lied. Okay. Now we're all confused. Okay, did you uh, lie or are you lying now about lying? And then later on when she comes back and say, guys, listen, I was being threatened at that time when I said I lie, I was telling the truth. Now we'll be like, did you lie about lying, about not lying? You know, it's like it gets confusing. And then people are surprised when somebody comes out and says something like this and we just look at it and we are just quiet. And it's because we don't know if two days later we're going to come out and say, that you were lying and also i do feel like i agree with people that say that people that lie about gbv should be uh, punished you know it should be a crime to actually lie about being physically abused because i know for myself that when a man has been accused of such i don't look at that man the same even if he came out and said i never did it these are the receipts there's just always something that is left in my mind when it comes to that because there's always a possibility that the person did it and so i don't look at that person the same so these are really serious uh, accusations to make against somebody and then for you to come back and say that you were lying that's why i feel like if somebody has done that to you go to the police station rather than come to social media even though I haven't been in that situation, so I don't know how you feel. Maybe she's been to the police station and didn't feel like she got the help and thought, you know, let me just go on social media, you know, because on social media, all it does is just confuse a lot of us. And a lot of the times we can't really help you on social media. We're not going to arrest him, you know. Maybe at best, social media will cancel the person, but they're not going to be punished for what, for what they've done. So maybe, you know, a chance of getting the person to at least get the punishment that they deserve is for you to go and report it, okay? So this is what she had initially posted. Um, not initially posted because this is what she posted after the initial post because those posts have been uh, deleted. So she says here, the previous posts about uh, the father of my child were not true. I just wanted to hurt him and I was very wrong for that. I sincerely apologize. Everyone that knows him know that he will never lay a hand even on an end. Okay, I'll talk about this end issue. Okay, he's an amazing father uh, for my daughter, and they've always been basically. She's saying whatever she had said about him, uh, she was wrong. She lied. Basically, uh, she's calling herself a liar here. So now people are in the comment section saying, "Listen, did you lie, or are you lying now about lying? You know, uh, maybe she was threatened now to say that she, you know, it's like it, it's just become the whole thing now." <laughs> people are wondering what is the truth okay but let's talk about this end issue guys i've said before guys don't watch my video if you don't have sense of humor in her bit okay so this this one that i'm going to talk about is sort of like a joke but not really but think about it she says that he will never lay a hand on an end and i was like listen that is the problem actually because you are supposed to lay your hands on an end you know, if my if the if ants are at my house, they know I'm going to lay my hands on them because in Totati Dumu, you know, 
I'm going to take a blue dead and go tell and I'm going to enjoy it very much when I come back five minutes later and all the ends are dead because I'm like, what do you want in my house? Yeah, you know? So I'm like, that was not a good, you know, thing to say that he will never lay a hand on an ant because actually he should lay a hand on an ant because maybe that's a problem. He's not laying his hands on ants, but laying them on human beings. Okay. I don't know. I've never even heard of something. He will never lay a hand. Oh, Icon, Icon, Icon. They do say good. Nega, he, Nega's a, uh, Nega I no, no, no. Impugan. Hmm. Guys, that was very strange. So, I maybe I've forgotten people to say good. He will never lay a hand on an end. Anyway, anyway, you guys. So this is what um she had written to say that she had lied, and this one. I believe that this is what she had uh, posted earlier on to sort of like receipts of what had happened to her. It's her face. It does look reddish. Maybe as she was saying he slapped her, punched her. I don't know how a punch looks to the face. And the eye is red, you guys, but it, it, it also looks like maybe she has been crying a lot, okay? Uh, so it says here, I look at Councillor Romo now deleted post accusing her baby daddy Charlie stacks off uh, physically assaulting her and picking it up with proof. So this is a proof that uh, she, she had posted. She's, uh, someone says she didn't lie. They probably threatened her. The rich man can get away with murder after all people would uh, pay so much to get their names tracked. Listen, if it's somebody else on social media that I don't personally know, I'm going to take their word for it. If she says that it didn't happen, I'm just taking her word for it. It didn't happen. So uh, for now, she is a liar. Uh, she lied on that man and there should be consequences for lying on people about domestic abuse. It's different when it's my friend because with a friend or with a family member or somebody close to you, you can sort of read into the situation a little bit more because you know the person. So if my friend came to me and say, my friend, this is what happened to me and they're coming later on and they say, my friend, it did not happen, I lied. I'm going to be able to read into my friend and be like, no, my friend, you are lying now. Listen, we're doing something about this one, okay? So I feel like with people on social media, I'll take their word for it. For I think that for me right now, she lied about HIV, um... abused, okay? So um, here is... Um, cause I was wondering, go to, who is this man after all, okay? this man that they keep uh, talking about i believe that this is him this is a post listen almost kaula posted it and this lady actually uh replied to this post and said i am sorry i i you didn't deserve it all so she's going around on twitter on posts that people are posting about this uh about her initial post uh, people are sharing her initial post and she's going around saying listen i'm sorry you don't deserve it uh, uh talking to the baby daddy okay so it's up to you to believe you could see is it because this guy threatened her guys this guy doesn't really look threatening although hmm <laughs> but yeah but money talks guys because they say that he's rich so um i don't know guys i don't know by threatening you know i'm just you know uh being me, guys. Okay, wait until you find out about the STD tests and reports. Guys, listen, you guys. While you are in a relationship, share these things with us. Don't wait until the relationship is over to share these things with us because then we're just not going to believe it. You are having fun in this relationship. You were sharing only positive uh, things, the, the gifts, the whatever. Now you're telling us about STDs. Now, do we even deserve to know about your STDs? Uh, okay, wait until you find out Kiara is not his. I don't know if Kiara is like a, a company of his uh, that is supposed to be his and she's saying it's not his, uh, meaning that maybe she's even telling us that he is not as... Uh, I, I'm not sharing. Let me share. <laughs> He's not as rich as we all uh, think. Okay, this is him, guys. Sorry, I wasn't sharing earlier on. So this is him. When I say it doesn't look threatening, I don't mean that he wouldn't commit GBV, but I'm just saying that now, you know, he doesn't look like he would because some of them look innocent. But, you know, we've seen some uh, innocent looking people doing horrible stuff, okay? Uh, look at that guy at court. Uh, what's, what's his name? Bafana in court. 
now here is is her telling us about uh, her STDs that we we do. <laughs> We, we we could do without knowing about the SCDs girl. Okay, wait until we find out Kiara is not his. That's another uh, post, you guys. Listen, I think it's up to you, you guys, to uh, decide if you believe her or not. I feel like I'm going to believe her. Right now, she says that she lied about the abuse. I'm believing her. She's a liar. Okay? And if people are coming out here saying, you know what, she needs to be arrested for lying, I say, yes, she she, she does. She does. You know, because you should never lie about um, such uh, things. Okay. Look at him here. I'm sure he was still uh, doing the gifts, you know. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Tell me what you think, think about this story in the comment section. Do you believe that she lied or do you believe that she's lying about lying? You know, do you believe that this guy did what she claimed initially that he did? Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it before Pumegonashe. It's with your friends with your family and even with strangers in Tanaka Code.